Hey Lou, this is Easy Rider. Welcome to my next video. Today I want to talk about the Cruise Mate Throttle Assist on my 2015 Harley Davidson Heritage Softail. Stay with me. Welcome back. Well, it's 22nd of October 2018 in Ohio. So it's getting a little chilly out here. I don't know how many more of these garage videos I'm going to do before it gets too damn cold. Anyway, today let's talk about my cruise assist, or my cruise mate, should I say, on my uh, Heritage. Uh, the Heritage, it's a 2015. It did not come with cruise control. All the 2016s and above do come with cruise control. But a lot of Harleys, regardless, don't have cruise control. But they do have that little thumb wheel on the bottom of the, of the throttle. What CruiseMate does is it takes out that thumb wheel and uh, puts in a little gizmo. I'll show it to you in a minute. It allows you to lock the throttle, and it works pretty good. I've had it in for a couple years now, and I mean, I highly, highly uh, suggest you upgrade to that so that, you know, you can rest your hand on long trips. Now, this isn't a how-to video. This is a review, so I'm just going to tell you kind of how it worked for me, how I put it in, and, you know, give you a few tips on that. Uh, First off, uh, when you buy it, you can go directly to the site CruiseMate. Just Google CruiseMate, it'll come up. And as of uh, this date, 22nd October 2018, if you buy the CruiseMate for $39, they throw in the drill bit and the tap. And then you're going to need the installation kit, which is another 10 bucks or so. So I'll tell you, you're probably going to be in it for 60 bucks, say, uh, to get basically you know, cruise control for your bike. Now, you need the kit. Do not be cheap. you got to get the kit or this thing ain't going to go in easy. Now, on a scale of 1 to 10, installing this thing, uh, I'm a fairly competent mechanic. Uh, I'd give it a 7 or an 8. I mean, it's not easy. There's drilling involved. There's tapping involved. Uh, so it's a little bit of thought process. But if you do exactly what the installation kit instructions tell you, you can do it. If you don't do exactly how the instrument in the installation kit tells you, you're going to screw it up. And I did mine on the Heritage. I did it step by step. Took me maybe an hour, which I take forever to do anything. Took me about an hour to do it. It worked perfect. And uh, then I went to my wife's Sporty, and I figured oh, I got this down, and I didn't use the installation kit, and I destroyed her freaking throttle uh, body, the under part of the, uh, the throttle control. I uh, found out at Harley those cost over $100, so I ended up for the same money buying her uh, chrome uh, uh, switch housings and stuff, and I had someone else put the damn thing in. I was like, all right, I'm done with that nonsense. Anyway, it really wasn't hard if you if you keep to the instructions. That's all I'm going to say, keep to the instructions. Uh, okay, and let's look at the unit itself. Well, the unit right there on the bottom is just this little switch. Like I said, it goes right to where that little thumb wheel you have goes. And uh, what you do is you ride down the road, you hit your throttle, hit that, and your throttle stays there. You can tap it forward with your finger and the throttle slides back, or you can just turn the throttle back if you want to. Uh, get a little bit better look at it. There's an adjustment on the on the unit itself to make it tighter or looser, you know, as you see fit. You might have to fiddle around with it for a little bit to get it the right way you want it to be. Uh, I said it's a really, really good unit. For Harley-Davidson's, I would highly, uh, highly uh, suggest you get one of these. And I did another video on the uh, Omni Cruise on my BMW, and it's a whole different thing. Just check my videos, you'll see it. But for Harleys, I would go with this Cruise Assist. And if you take it to a shop, you're going to do an hour labor, so you're going to be just under $200 to get this done. So you're going to have to ask, you know, is it worth it to get that or just to get cruise control, you know. But uh, I've had it on, I don't know, two, three years now, and I love it. It just works perfect. Uh, it's not cruise control. It's throttle lock. So when you're going down the road and you're at a certain speed and you hit that little switch, well, you know, the throttle's just going to stay where it is. So if you hit a hill, you'll slow down if you start going down a hill you're going to speed up so you know for four or five minutes normally you know you can just rest your hand and you know get the blood flow back in there so it's good for something like that as cruise control it ain't going to work as cruise control you know it's not going to keep a steady speed but you know who cares 
Uh, at any rate, I'd give the unit itself, you know, five stars. Uh, it's a great unit for the money. I really love it. And uh, if you want to, you know, give your throttle hand a rest, I would seriously consider getting the uh, cruise mate and just go directly to their website or JMP Cycle, however you want to do it. But I think it's cheaper on the website. There are how-to videos there and a bunch more on the web. Uh, if you don't feel competent drilling and tapping, uh, and you're going to do it all while it's on the uh, right there, you know, on the uh, handlebar, you don't want to take that switch housing apart. Trust me, there's a lot of little teeny ass wires. You break something in there, you're going to be spending money. And also the uh, the headlight switch back there, not the headlight switch, but the brake switch back here. You screw that thing up, man. You're going to be in for some some money and pain in the ass. Anyway, hope this helps. You got any questions, put them below. I may get around to answering them. Uh, give this one a big video, a big fat thumbs up if you enjoyed it. You know, subscribe to my channel. I like to put out videos every now and then of, you know, things that interest me and I think interest you. Anyway, have a great day. Easy Rider, out.